So to kick this video off, I'll go in with a one and a half guard cut with the grain. I want to get all of this hair down to that one desired length. I want to make sure that everything, everything is flat. And at the same time, I want to keep it kind of dark as well, just so I can show and display a nice taper later on in the video. Today going to be a simple, clean lineup video. I notice a lot of people in my comment section be struggling with lineups, so I'm going to help y'all with this. I go in with my Babeless FXs. I create a rainbow shape at the bottom area towards the top of the ear that's how i line it up creating that rainbow shape line it up with the top of the ear i'll go above that create a half inch mark with my andis masters completely open to give myself some fade room after that i go in with my one eighth guard completely closed and i want to blend out most of that bottom line from my one and a half so my one eighth guard is basically a one guard and then it's going right up under my one and a half guard which i cut it down with so it's going to be easier to blend it in Next step, I go in with my green Babeless FX's and I'm trying to blend out this bottom line, going completely halfway, and then I'm going to go close, and then I'm going to clean it all the way up. And yeah, I go in with my 1 16th guard and I'm flicking around, opening and closing my lever in between, not trying to do too much hard work, but trying to create a nice gradient effect just so the side of the taper can be completed. Then I got my guard off and I'm just flicking around in this area just because I like to flick around, open with my Andes Masters more than my Babeless. Go down here, get myself a whole inch and I start to fade top of the beer with the bottom of the side taper literally repeating a lot of my steps once i go and fade this area out from completely open to halfway to close i'm gonna put my 116th guard on it and hit it just a tad bit to give it more transition so it's not too dark in that area next step i go over here finish up with my one and a half on this side and repeat all of the same steps that i did on the previous side everything is a mirror effect to me everything is mathematics for me even if it's not just the lineup treat it like the common denominator whatever they do in improper fractions they basically multiply the bottom times the top and just in reference of a line and i'm doing whatever i do to one side to the other side it's a mirror effect that's how you stay consistent real symmetrical and that's how you don't lose yourself in your fade so as you guys can see did that rainbow shape went in completely open got my one eighth guard right here trying to clean this area up Then I got my Babeless open and fade my way all the way down. Super simple, super easy, super consistent. All it is, is putting a shot up more than one time. Practice make perfect and y'all just gotta consistently shoot. And then when you in the shop, when you at barber school, whatever it is, putting a shot up more than one time is gonna really get you there. That's the most important part about everything. Now in with the 1 16th guard and just cleaning up the taper area. I'm just basically flicking in and out in this area, not applying too much pressure and not really digging in. I'm gonna drop to the beard, go completely close with my 1 16th guard. I'm gonna take the blade off, 
basically, or take the guard off and just fade this all the way down to zero. Super easy. I go in, I want to spray my M Spritz. It's a vendor out here in Chicago who sells it. I don't think I've seen this nowhere else. I buy it off of a vending truck, so it's really my favorite spritz. Not too chalky, but at the same time lays the hair down. As you guys can see, when I spray spritz, I brush a lot. Like, I brush a lot. That's super important. You want to bring every hair completely forward to you. Bring everything your way. So once you go in with your trimmers, you'll be able to just tap and go and really hit hairs and get true hair. So I go in with my gold bed with FX's on the neckline, just doing my verticals and then working my way all the way around the ear. My next step is to do the back of the beard line, drop it completely down in a straight vertical line. As you guys can see, it's coming together really well. It's all framework. I'm framing everything out before I start hitting it with angles and curves. Repeating the same steps. Remember I told y'all, mirror effect. Whatever I do to one side, I go and do it to the other side, opposed to just finishing one side first. Now I go in, plant in the middle, and work my way all the way to the left of the client's head. Tapping and going, that's what that spritz do. Every hit is vital. Now attacking the vertical bar area and giving it a 90 degree angle and also doing a curve. So as you guys can see at the bottom of that vertical bar is super, super light, but not light to where like light in a bad way is just lighter here. So it's hard to see that point at the bottom, but just keep everything consistent. Line it up as if it was hair there. Or if the hair was super dark right there, you don't wanna just dig into that area because you don't see the bottom of the point is hard. Then I work my way in the middle, work my way all the way to the right. I'm showing y'all a mirror effect the whole way there. Y'all should be so much more up to par with y'all lineups after this video specifically. Remember, always turn and shift the client head to your liking just to make sure that you're getting this thing as straight as possible. Recorrect in certain areas, recorrect in certain lines. And then right here, lining up the bottom of my vertical bars. It's lighter on the end of this vertical bar as well, like it was on the other side. So you could just tell it's just something super consistent in this hair. Go in with my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Car, using no drip and using my coilless compressor, the Beam Team Coilless Compressor and just spraying, making sure that I'm getting some color distributed on this hair perfectly and staying inside of my boundaries by any means. Keeping it all consistent. I'm back like four to five inches away from the client's head and it's just giving me a nice, 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 clean brown take. I'm also using brown in this video. I'm not using the onyx black, I'm using brown. And as you guys can see the bottom of that vertical bar where it's light at, so you're going to just use the color to bring that in. I go in using my Barber Magic Pencil and I want to just conceal this line. I want to make these lines super thin, super skinny. It's the same thing or same technique of when women, you know, arch their eyebrows or they put color on their eyebrows. Or conceal their eyebrows. They put color in it. Well, not color in it. They line it up first. Then they put color in it. And now after putting color in it, they go behind it, conceal it, and blend that line out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm setting it up by concealing it before I blend it out. Going straight across, making sure that all my lines are super thin, super small, and just remain as consistent as possible. Hitting the line with my gold FX's now. And then, as you guys can see, I'm slowly but surely blending out this line. It's creating a nice ash line that's concealed and create a nice contrast from the skin and the color and the hair. Everything just looks super, super, super clean, formatted. guys can see it's coming together really well 
looking super clean, super crisp. Now I go in with my razor, angling my razor at a 45 degree angle. Got my client lean back, stretching the skin and bringing everything back to my desired line. Giving it some type of shape and just staying super patient. That's something that's super important when I'm lining people up. You just gotta stay patient. You gotta let it come naturally to you. You don't wanna overplay your part at all. Like it's gonna fall. Every shot won't fall. But the more you put the shot up, eventually it's gonna drop. You get to a point to where this is just every day. Like this is every day. I know exactly what I'm gonna do to every client beer, even with they, you know, when consulting with them. If they want to keep it wide, if they want to keep it short, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what type of curve I'm going to put on it. And it's just from me doing it so so much longer. So if you a barber student, you somebody that's new in the game, don't get discouraged when the things ain't coming out exactly how you want them to be. Because it was a point in time in my career when nothing was coming out how I wanted it to be. You just got to consistently put shots up. That's how NBA players get that shot to drop. People, you know, develop finesse and playing with their back towards the basket. You got to be in practice. You got to be putting the shot up multiple times. You don't just wake up one day and then you can do something you never did before. So just keep everything consistent, man. Keep practicing. Keep enjoying this. Having fun with it. Piece by piece. It's going to come together, y'all. And you just got to just remain humble. You remain humble. You keep God first and everything will fall in this place. Super clean. Super clean, man. So in the imperfect world, we do get these clients that come in. They do look crazy by the lineup. And I tell y'all, every time on my channel while I'm spinning a client around, as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. And on my channel, it's only one way to give it up. So let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section Hashtag 2020 is year to shapeshifters Hashtag glass glacier gang Yeah, all of that We locked in, we focused I hit my boy with a crazy, crazy, crazy lineup today Just something super simple for all of my people out there That's struggling with the lineups Hopefully after this video you will not struggle more with lineups Treat them and just like mirrors Everything has to be a reflection Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side In reference of the lineup And you will be able to finish just as strong as me just keep putting them shots up don't get discouraged and just stay locked in and remain humble and i promise it's gonna come together so premiering tonight at 9 p.m eastern on the tune 45 academy hit the link in my description below to sign up this is a snippet of the video that is not on youtube yet and it's on the academy let's go